Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel. And today I'm speaking with Paul Tenier, who is VP Exploration at True Precious Metal, uh, Metals Corporation. Uh, the ticker is TRU on the Toronto Venture Exchange. Uh, True had some exciting news this week about some channel sampling at its Golden Rose project in Newfoundland. But before we dive into those results, uh, for investors that might not know True, um, Paul, can you give us a little bit of background on the project? Sure. Uh, nice, nice to see you, Chris. Um, so True uh, acquired the Golden Rose project from a deal with Altius Resources back in 2021. And uh, it's been focused on uh, gold and copper um, uh, exploration in the area. The project is um, located between uh, in, along the Cape Ray, Valentine Lake shear zone between uh, Marathon Mining's uh, uh, Valentine Lake project, Valentine Gold project, and Matador Mining's Cape Ray project, and all in central Newfoundland. Um, so we've been focused again on gold and, and copper, uh, recently doing some drilling, uh, sorry, some channel sampling in um, Mark's Pond area. And also we did some drilling in um, 2022 in the Jacobs Pond area as well. Great, you uh, the Marathon's uh, Golden, uh, Marathon Gold Valentine Gold Project is a, is a fairly large resource. I think it has, uh, you know, close to 4 million ounces. Um, and I think Matador has almost a million ounces. So you're in a, a good uh, location. Um, geologically, does the structure run along through your project? Yes, it does. So the Cape Ray Valentine Lake Shear Zone does run through um, various blades of the shear zone as well. So we're targeting most of our exploration is targeting around um, where we think the, the shear zone is passing through. Um, most of it, the work we've done has been around soil geochemistry surveys uh, and geophysics um, to determine where the best places are to to actually do more advanced exploration, such as drilling. And uh, as you mentioned, you, you acquired the project in 2021 and 2022, um, just to remind us again, exactly what you accomplished from an exploration um, deliverables. Yep. So again, soil um, in, in rock sampling and prospecting was um, part of the program. Uh, we also did um, IP survey over the Jacobs Pond area. Um, and which eventually led to, in combination with all that data, led to drilling at Jacobs Pond and also in the Southwoods Lake area. And that was in uh, early to mid-2022. Uh, um, after that, um, we and we discovered some significant copper intercepts, especially at Jacobs Pond, uh, which uh, some, some sample intercepts, um, some drill intercepts were over 1% copper. Um, and then a later part of uh, 2022, sort of late summer and fall, we switched gears over to our option ground at Mark's Pond in Rich House, uh, which is a gold focused area. And we did some, a trench, we reopened a trench there and channel sampling. Um, and that's what led to these, uh, we, we first reported uh, rock uh, sample results, grab sample results, which were very high grade in gold. And um, and then after that, we just recently uh, released those channel sample results uh, that were also very high grade. So let's let's talk about those uh, channel sample results. Uh, that's from the Mark Pond area uh, on the Golden Rose project. Uh, you had some fairly high grade samples, uh, you know, from 23 and a half uh, grams per ton gold all the way up to, to over 57 grams per ton gold over over two meters. Um, can you just explain exactly what channel sampling is? And what impressed you about these results? Yeah, so um, we knew we were going to go back in and, and sort of reopen an old trench that had been done by a previous operator. Um, we knew that uh, from gold panning uh, from our prospectors and also from soil sampling that we were seeing high um, gold anomalies, golden soil anomalies. So um, what our crew did is re basically reopened it. We had an excavator uh, build up the trench. We also extended the trench at, uh, at least under 150 meters to the north. Um, and then basically what we did after that is um, cleared off all the soil until uh, within the trench and got it down to a bedrock. And channel sampling is basically just um, cutting cutting a sample uh, into the bedrock um, at discrete intervals. Uh, we did it anywhere from 0.5 meter to one meter. And you're basically like collecting a, 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 a sort of few centimeter wide sample, almost like what you would see in a in drill core, um, except at that surface. Uh, so we did that and then we, we basically uh, mapped and, and sampled it. Um, and then um, we also did a full QA QC program. So just like you would with drilling, we did 
Um, we inserted blanks, standards, and, and we did duplicates and set all that in for, for, for assays. Um, so that's basically channel sampling is, is almost like a horizontal drill hole. So you're cutting through, uh, but it's in bedrock. Um, so we did all our best we could to clean the sample to make sure there was no contamination from um, soil and till above it uh, to give it as clean a sample as possible before we bagged it and sent it to the lab. And so when you're doing these channel samplings, you're at surface, that, that means that the deposit, the mineralization is coming to the surface. So do you feel that this is going to be indicative of the actual deposit itself? You'll, you might have some uh, some additional spots where it's close to surface and might make um, you know mining for it later on a little bit easier. Yeah. So what we what we're seeing is that um, to the south there was the Marks Pond um, gold zone, but 100, 130 meters to the south, which was also it was intersected through drilling by a produce operator. Um, so what we're anticipating and now this new zone, which we're calling the Northcott Gold Zone, um, is another what we call a parallel structure. Um, this, the, the Northcott Gold Zone so far, we're seeing it as about two to three meters wide, very high grade, as we saw in the results. Um, and so what we're anticipating is that, and, and this, we have to still, we, we managed to, to get a fair bit done, but we, we ran into winter conditions and couldn't continue. So there's still a fair bit of sampling that needs to be done further down the trench. There's another sort of, we did take some samples, but there's probably a good 150 meters worth of sampling that still needs to be done. And we we did see indications of the sort of same graphitic schist where we saw the gold, high gold grades. We're seeing that further down in the trench. So our, our plan is to continue uh, to sample that and clean it out and sample it um, and look for uh, additional um, gold intercepts uh, further down the trench. In addition, the North Clark also himself what we did is we we actually extended the trench along strike of the zone, about a total of 23 meters, and we did see gold. Um, uh, we did see samples assaying back with gold on either end of that, so it's open on both sides. So we would probably continue to extend that. We don't know how long yet, um, how much yet, but there's definitely indications that it's not just uh, within this 23 meter um, zone that it continues uh, to the northeast and to the southwest. Right. And you did a little bit of a financing before Christmas. I, I'm assuming you're going to use some of these funds to, to do some further exploration uh, into 2023. Uh, what have you got sort of planned for the first part of the year that's going to generate some news flow that investors can look forward to? Yeah. So you're right. We we did a flow through financing, uh, just, just a little over 500000 and that's uh, was it's focused on our critical minerals. Um, so that's going to be focused on the Jacobs Pond area where uh, we we are seeing uh, high copper um, numbers. And um, in the spring, as soon as the snow, literally as soon as the snow melts and we're able to get back in there, um, we're literally going to go back into the trench and continue the work that we couldn't do at the end of the fall. Uh, and, and and that, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be uh, to complete sampling uh, of the trench looking for the parallel structures further to the north, also extending along the North Cockwell zone. Uh, it's also going to require um, probably some additional gold panning and, and, and prospecting alongside the trench on either side. Um, so we, because we really only scratched the surface when we when we started. So we got some excellent results for such a, such a short period of work, probably about three weeks of work. Um, so we're very excited by that because uh, in and we anticipate um, to, to to see more as, as we go along. Well, that's great. It looks like there's going to be lots of activity for this year. Um, and you have an interesting project with those high grade channel samples uh, should should do well uh, to gain uh, in interest from investors who like the gold space. And uh, the copper uh, on that, uh, you know, for the battery metal space will also be uh, getting some eyeballs from those types of investors. Uh, thanks for your time, Paul, today. And I look forward to following your company's progress. Great. Thanks very much, Chris. Appreciate it.